Hello, welcome to Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands. My name is Sander Otte and in this movie I'd like to show you how in our lab we can move around individual atoms. So that's what we do. We literally pick up and put down individual atoms so that we can build things atom by atom. And for this we use a special machine which is called a scanning tunneling microscope. S -T and that microscope works on a very simple principle. So it's a scanning microscope. And it has a very sharp needle that scans line by line along a surface. And the end of that needle is so sharp that it can actually feel a single atom. Now, what you're looking at here is a screen capture from the computer that controls our microscope. And in the central viewport, you see a black dot running around. And that black dot marks the current position of our needle, the tip. Um, and as that tip scans along the surface, line by line, it forms a height map of the surface, which is shown as a color scale here. And in this example, that map is only 4 by 4 nanometers in size. So that's only 4 by 4 times 1 millionth of a millimeter. So this is really, really tiny. And while I was talking here, you could see how we built a pair of atoms by placing two atoms adjacent to each other. Now this went a little fast, so we'll do this again. So on this empty island here, this purple island, we will build a second pair of atoms. And this time we'll go a bit slower so that I can tell you step by step what is happening. Now first of all, of course, we need to look for an atom to put down. And as it turns out, there is a single atom on the island to the south of the place where we want to build our new structure. And that atom is showing up now. And this turns out to be an iron atom. And we are going to pick up this atom. And we do this by placing the tip above the atom so that it hangs only a few tenths of a nanometer above the atom. And then we lower the tip until it touches the atom and we apply a voltage pulse. And as a result of that pulse, the atom jumps from the surface to the tip on which it hangs now. And with the atom on the tip, we move the tip back to the island where we want to build our structure. And then we do the opposite process. So again, we lower the tip until the atom touches the surface. And again, we apply a voltage pulse. But this time the voltage pulse has the opposite polarity such that the atom jumps from the tip to the surface. And as you can see, indeed, the atom now has landed on the surface. But unfortunately, it turns out that we messed up a little because the atom landed in the wrong place. We had intended to place the atom a little bit more towards the right edge of this island. And therefore now we will pick it up again and put it in the right place. So now we pick it up, and by the way, that jittering of the tip you see here is a search procedure that we perform around the last known position of the atom to make sure that the tip is exactly above the center of the atom when we do the pickup procedure. And then in this scan you see that we have picked up and dropped off the atom, this time in the correct place. And then the last step in positioning an atom is to give it a little push. Because it turns out when you put down an atom on a surface like this, it does not automatically end up in its final lowest energy position. So therefore you have to give it a push, and that's what we did here. And as you can see, the atom jumped a little bit to the left. And this is where we'll leave it. Okay, great. So now we need to look for a second atom. So here we are scanning even more to the south than before. And there we see one, two, three, four atoms that we could use. So let's pick one of them. For example, this one. No, this one. And we'll pick it up again. So here's the search procedure. Then the tip is lowered, voltage pulse is applied and then we check whether the atom indeed has been picked up. And you see 
that that's the case, the place where it was is now empty. So with this atom on the tip, we now move back to our construction site. We place the tip above the first atom, do the search procedure, and then with an offset that we uh, programmed ourselves to the lower left, we put down the second atom and there it is. And now, of course, we have to give that push again. And this time we'll try to push it upward, so towards the north. And that's what we do here. And then in the last scan, we see our new pair of atoms. Okay, so to finish up, let's take one last scan of both our structures together. So here we are just the scan size and then we position it nicely and we start our final scan and there we see beautifully two pairs of atoms that were exactly designed by us to be this way.